Boy, I tell you, there's a scripture we've been in for the last two years, which is Psalms 37. Trust God and do good. Trust God and do good. Boy, that'll get you through in some rough times. <laughs> and so shalt thou be fed. And no, what does it say? And barely the land. And so shalt thou. Hey. <laughs> He'll feed you and you're going to be all right. How's that? <laughs> He'll feed you. I'll paraphrase it. He'll feed you and you'll be all right. Amen. Trust God and do good. It's actually longer than this scripture. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God's always going to say it better than I can. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you for pointing that out. Trust God and do good. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. That's a great path. There's so much in this word that is just equips us to the battle. Equips us to the fight. Prepares us for when the enemy comes and throws those stupid little nasty emails at us. We can kick him in the teeth. Amen. I get those emails too, Lisa. My emails are work related. <laughs> oh no. Here it says, and let us not be weary in well doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Last night we talked about that race, right? Let us lay aside the sin and the weight and the sin that does so easily beset us and run with patience the race that is set before us. you got to keep putting one foot in front of the other. If you fall down, get up. If you goof up, try again. Don't stay down too long. That's right. Don't stay there. All right. Verse 10, as we have therefore opportunity... Let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. And a lot of times you're going to hear that, well, when you see opportunity, take it. No, it doesn't mean that. It means you have opportunity all the time. Use it. Use it. Are you a parent? You've got lots of opportunity. Are you a husband? Are you a wife? Are you an employee? People talk about, boy, I don't know if I could ever do ministry full-time. I said, are you a believer? You're in ministry full-time. That's right. I didn't see Jesus taking days off. I didn't see the disciples taking days off. Well, that's different. How? How? How's it different? We all work for Jesus. Amen? We all serve Jesus. Amen? How's it different? No, different? no different. You have opportunity. Serve God. You have opportunity. Do well. Do good. Especially to your brothers and sisters in Christ. Especially to your brothers and sisters in the faith. Oftentimes we treat one another far worse than we treat the world. And that's not right. That's not right at all. But especially... Those that are of the faith. We have opportunity. You want your fire to grow? Use those opportunities. Take those opportunities. If you have a shot, take it. So what if you look silly? So what if it doesn't work? Who cares? Who cares? Doesn't matter. Dead men don't care. Dead flesh don't care. Amen? Amen. Now, who are you to judge whether or not it went right or wrong anyway? <laughs> How many times I've done something I thought was right and it's been wrong? How many times I thought for sure I had been a total blithering idiot and it turned out to be right? Steve talked about that tree of knowledge between good and evil. Last time I checked, we ain't supposed to eat that. <laughs> right? So who are we to judge? We know what God's given us what's right to do. Love him and love one another. If you do something out of love for somebody, then you are bringing them Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. In the right uniform. Bringing them the help they need in times of trouble. Isn't that what Jesus has done for us? Yep. And that's what we're supposed to do for others. You have opportunity, you take it. You minister the love of Christ. Don't minister yourself. Don't minister or don't think you have to minister... All this doctrinal <coughs> stuff you don't have a handle on. Just minister the love of Christ. Amen. You know what Amen. that is? 
Let me show you how every one of you is equipped to tell people about Jesus. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. How many people have accepted Jesus Christ their Lord and Savior? You got the blood of the Lamb. The word of their testimony. How many people here have had God touch their life? You got a testimony. And they love not their life to the death. That's where we get hung up. Right? Because we, in our own pride and selfishness, we love ourselves more than that person. What if those guys in the EMT place were playing cards? That call came in. What would have happened if the doctors at the emergency room said, you know what, we're busy. We can't get him that IV right now. What would have happened if the guys that had the uniform, that had the equipment, that had the training, were just too busy to take time out of their busy schedule to respond to that call of need? I want to ask you, how many times have you been too busy to respond to that call of need? You got the uniform. You got the tools. You got the job. It's great to feel good in the presence of God. Amen. There's nothing like it. But our job is not to sit in this tent or sit in the house or sit in a pew and experience the presence of God and then not take it out to other people. Our job is expressly to take the good news that we have received of the Lord and take it out and minister that to other people and bring the deliverance. He said He sent them out into the world. And He told them to heal the sick, to cast out devils. Isn't that what He told them to do? He told them to go do the works that He did. If you want this fire to grow and burn brightly in your heart, you can't do it sitting on your ass. That's right. Can't do it. You got to get up. You got to move your feet. Amen? Amen. The Lord has given us good gifts. He's given us experiences. How many experiences do you have, Paul? How long did you sit and say, I'm not worthy? How long do you still sit and say, I'm not worthy? <laughs> right? But how long did, that, did that, that sense of unworthiness and, oh, I can't preach, or I can't, how long did that hold you back? Forever. Forever. Any doubt that the Spirit of the Lord's with Brother Paul? Not a single one. Amen, right? Phil, our perpetual screw up. We love him. Any doubt that the hand of the Lord's with you? No. Anybody that knows you can see God's hands on you. It isn't the hat you're so great. We know that. Because I'm not. Especially because you're not. Is. Look at me. I mean, you guys don't know what I've been through to be here. Steve knows. It's only because of Jesus Christ. He has equipped you through His blood, through His Spirit. You are able. The enemy will tell you you're not. Let me tell you, you are able. You can do it if you stand in Him. If you trust in Him. He'll take care of it. Amen? Amen. Come on up, Brad. <coughs> oh, it's really gentle. It looks like it's very cold. While I set this up, Brad, why don't you share just a quick thing?